Divas. I have some unwrappings for you, unboxings. Um, some miscellaneous goodies that I got. Most of them are diamond painting related, but I thought you might like to see me open them. Um, mail's always fun, isn't it? <laughs> Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And um, uh, so that YouTube can recommend this site to others who like diamond painting. You're doing them a favor and me a favor as well, and it's free. <laughs> Don't forget to click the little bell at the bottom as well so that you can get notified when um, other videos and lives come up. We're going live Tuesday nights from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. every Tuesday night for the most part, and that's Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you can join us. Okay, so these two I got from Joann's, and they finally came in and ordered. I used, I got this little diamond dots. I love ladybugs. So I got a little diamond dots to show you. How, and the box is nice. It says how it works on the back. Diamond dots is a leisure art company. I want to go to one of those, those um, craft conventions where all the new crafts come out. Oh my gosh, I would just absolutely love going there. I'm not a retailer, so. I don't know. Maybe they let social influencers in. I don't know. Not that I'm big on the tube, but we'll see. Okay, so it looks like they give you an instruction sheet and um, tips on how to diamond dot. That's always nice. Put that back in the box. Back in the box. There we go. It looks like they give you a sticker. This is probably what you're supposed to drill on. Yep, there's the clear sheet on top. It's very sticky. There is the uh, the code that you use to determine what diamonds go where. It looks like this is the frame. And I'm not sure. Oh, okay. You unscrew the back. You put this finished thing on here. You put it back together and screw the back back down. How ingenious. That's cool. So there's the ladybug and there's its frame. I like that. Nice. They give you um, a basic crafty kit. The pen, the wax, the squishy, and a gray tray. Just like the green ones, only it's gray. All right, no big deal. We don't need that, really. I don't need that. And the dots. So it looks like there's only a few colors. What was it, six colors? And then, let's see. Let's see how many dots are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six different shades. There's two shades of red, a black, two shades of green, and a white. What else do you need? What else do you need? All right, and that comes from Joann's, Diamond Dots from Joann's. All righty. Sorry, my daughter just came in to give me a Christmas present. Um, she gave me really softy washcloths for your face. She made them herself, she knitted them herself. Three different patterns, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful patterns. And she gave me something I'm going to show you with the planners because it belongs in that genre. And she gave me an elephant, an enamel elephant. Isn't that beautiful? For a necklace. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I have a good daughter. <laughs> okay, back to the unwrapping. This is a Diamond Dots square canvas. I did not know Diamond Dots did squares. That's a new one on me. So let's open this up and see if we can get this one open. Again, these are from Michaels. No, oh. I'm sorry. Again, these are from Joann's. And I can't get this little thing off here. That's because it's taped in. Of course it is. Of course it is. Here we go. <clears throat> I did 
did not know Diamond Dots made squares. I have just made a whole bunch of videos about the Diamond Dots paintings that I got. For sure, I did not know they were square. I know, you know, that's fabulous because then I get to test it out for you. I get to test out the squares for you to see if they are a good square. I don't trust every company with squares. Ooh, okay, let me get all the goodies out of here. Let me roll it so that you can see it. This is called Peach Dahlias. Its size is, let's see, the design size is 45 by 35. Shutterstock image. So it's, um, let's see how many colors, 29 colors. And I don't see any specials in here, but that's all right. It's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. And it's good it's a smaller painting because if I don't trust the squares, there's a thread stuck in here. You see that? There's a thread stuck in here. Oh, be doggone. That's weird. I have a tweezer, so let me see if I can get it out. I have a tweezer, so let me see if I can get it out. That will mess up a painting for sure. It's a thread. Oh my gosh, is it stuck in here, guys? Divas. Holy cow. It's really stuck in here. It's like molded to the to the painting. Jeez. That's not good. You don't want anything interfering with the stick of a drill. And this thread will stick. That's a problem from the factory. Obviously it had to be put down when the glue is put down. All right, I think I got most of it off. Please ignore the traffic outside. All right. All right. I think I got it up. All right. Diamond Dots comes with a multi-language uh, instruction sheet and a specific Diamond Dot Squares sheet in several different languages. Gently shake tray to line up the diamonds in the grooves on the tray. It's easier to dot straight if the diamonds are already straight in the tray. This is true. Take care not to overfill the tray. To achieve smooth, even finish, start dotting from the bottom edge of the design and fill one row at a time. No, uh-uh. Place diamonds edge to the edge Oh, edge to edge to avoid leaving space in between the next diamonds. Duh. All right. Thank you for the advice. I'm such that it is. All right. Let's look at the drills. For the peach dahlia. Let's look at the drills closely. Okay. It does give you the name of the kit and the SKU number on the inventory number on there. It gives you a pen and a squishy. It gives you a teal boat with the funnel and some diamond art dots wax and some plastic baggies. Very good. That's dandy. Now for the drills. 
I'm going to do this from the back so you can actually see the colors. Uh, the thing is, Diamond Dot's numbers are not DMC color numbers, so they won't match what you've got already if you save them. But there is a conversion chart. If you would like the conversion chart, um, I didn't make it up the conversion chart, but I got it from uh, two different other uh, YouTubers, and they will be credited with it on the, um, the sheet itself. If you want to email me at wandaswerkbasket at gmail.com, and let me know that that's what you want. I will be glad to mail it to you. So here are the colors of the diamonds for the Peach Dahlia. Of course, it's got the darker colors to surround the Peach Dahlia so that it pops. And yeah, I want to show you the backs so that I show you all the brilliant colors. If you want to substitute some of the ABs, I would figure out what color is close enough to the center, like the yellows and some of the centers of them. Uh, maybe this yellow would be a good one. One of the yellows would be a good one to trade out. Okay, need some more black. Okay, so this is the Diamond Dots. Square. I don't see I don't see trash in them. Let me really look at them closely, especially the dark ones here. I don't see any flashing over any extra trashy pieces in there. But we'll have to see how they sit. I don't see a dimple in the bottom. Maybe they're resin instead of um, acrylic. Huh, like another famous company we know. I don't know. Diamond Dots. I am eager to do the square to see how they compare. I'm working on a Diamond Dots that I will soon show you at the end of a video. It's a peanut gang, so if you want to see a finished peanut gang, Diamond Dots, check the uh, playlist below. Sorry, I should have done crinkle alerts. Okay. You can never get them back in the same way. It just isn't possible. back in this baggie. Keep it nice and safe. Square, huh? Huh. I'm surprised I didn't know that. Oh, that's right. They do that differently. They do that differently. Okay. Protect the canvas and not the dots. Okay, here we go. So, on with the haul. Fragile. <laughs> this is a mug box. I got um, got a mug from uh, Danny Donovan, and it's she makes an ADHD. Uh, an ADHD uh, planner. It's an anti-planner, actually, and I am eagerly awaiting that in the mail. And I got this mug, and it says, Email like a boss. <laughs> what to do with your extra emails. So, it says, I think a while... I, it took a while, but you can deal. Sorry for the delay. Thanks for your patience. Uh, my schedule matters, too. What works best for you? Could you do this or that? It tells you like different things um, that 
that you do an email and different ways, a good way and a bad way to answer it. <laughs> I made a small error. Ah, sorry, my bad. Totally missed that. Or, nice catch, updated file attached. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> it's a great reminder <laughs> of different ways to use it. That's pretty fun. That is fun. Okay. Now, what goodies do I have in here? This came from Merry Making and More from Etsy. Merry Making and More from Etsy. Ooh. Oh, something smells wonderful. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for supporting my small shop. Your purchase allows me to continue crafting and share affordable accessories with the diamond paying community. Love your order. Please consider leaving a review on Etsy. If you have any questions about your order, please don't hesitate to contact me. There's a QR code here that if you're new to putty, you watch an instructional video. Nice. And it says, that's her, her social media. Very nice. And she includes a little bill. And then I ordered it. Okay. She includes a little gift pack. And this says, diamond painting with sparklers. Shine bright with dpsparklers.co by Tina Burney. Anyway, um, there is a coupon code on the back and frost sample. Very nice. Sample gems, frost. Very cool. What else is in here? I have some pretty stickers. Faith, that's a great one to have. <laughs> some sushi. Maybe my son would like that one. I don't know. And a Kanga and Roo. <laughs> That's neat because I have a, a an Australian game that I love to play. <laughs> Laffy Taffy and Nerds. <laughs> and a beautiful celestial bag here. Oh, I'm going to put all the goodies that I'm getting from people in, a, in the baggie for later. Now, this one says thank you for your purchase. <clears throat> I got two different putties, scented putties. One is, no I didn't, a bubblegum, yes. Mrs. Claus Kitchen Merry Mud. Really? I thought I got banana. I got bubblegum and banana. Well, let's see what this Mrs. Claus is. Well, it says kitchen putty. I must have ordered the kitchen putty. Maybe I got banana from someplace else. Oh, it smells like sugar cookies. Ooh. Mmm. And what is Merry Mud? What is putty? It's like the tacky, the ticky tacky stuff that you used to put on the wall to hold the posters up. Only this you put in your diamond painting pen. And it's supposed to last a long, long time. I'll test them out. Oh, like a cinnamon apple and a, and a um, sugar cookie. Yum. That smells delish. Let me smell bubblegum. Who doesn't like the smell of bubblegum? Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely a pink bubblegum. I'm going to have to keep them in the little container so I don't accidentally eat them. <laughs> Thinking they're part of the treats. Nice. And it comes in this little sealed, these little sealed packs. Very nice. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the boxes here and the goodies. And I ordered something else. I ordered a magnet. A little elephant magnet. Isn't it cute? It's for it's a um cover minder or you can use it as a fridge magnet nice merry minder they're called very cute 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 what else this I got from Etsy as well from a 
David Luciano. Okay. Is there any other identification on there? There's two little rubber bands on the box. It's like a jewelry box. Oh, here it is. Lucky Resin Works. Let me see if there's any. Uh, handmade Resin Lathe Works. Specializing in diamond painting pens. And that's their card. From Etsy. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Okay, it's got a four placer on the end. And they are removable. Look how beautiful. It's like ocean waves. It's got a nice heft to it. It's got a nice seat for your your thumb. Beautiful. And either way. Nice. This is crazy beautiful. Absolutely crazy beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to have to send a thank you for that one. Thank you, David. Put it back in its little case for now. Here's the little box. This one, <coughs> this one I got from Michaels, apparently. Oh, yes. Here's a cutie. He's a cutie. I don't have them all. Okay, this is a diamond art from Michaels. It is diamond dots. Made for Michaels. 25 colors. Do you see this little cutie patootie? I love beagles. Beagles are like my favorite. My favorite favorite. This is called Dog in Hammock. <laughs> it's a 14 by 11 inch. And this is just the inventory sheet, I think. Just the uh, packing list. Yes. Put that aside. Put that aside. Let's open up this. Diamond Art by Leisure Arts. Diamond Dots. Now, let me see if I can get it out of the... Again, with the tape. It was in the container. What do I need the extra tape for? Seriously, what do I need the extra tape for? Here we go. I always have the scissors handy. Okay. And the drills. <coughs> dog in hammock. This cutie patootie dog, too. Here we go. And I'm going to roll it the other way so we can see it. Nice and flat. And the goodies that come in with it. And the other end has the opposite roll. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Here's the little cutie. <laughs> A little beetle puppy. Nice. And he's sweet. He has 25 colors. Impressive. It is a partial. The black background is just a background. I think what I would do is if I want to put this on a I put this on a pre-made artist canvas, I'll paint the canvas maybe a green in the back if I want to make it look Christmassy. If not, I'll use a um, a dark brown or the same color or some other kind of shade in the background and cut it right along where the diamonds go and glue it down that way. That's how I would frame it. Maybe roll a little bit of the ends over the canvas. Okay, let's look at the diamonds. And they give you a, a sheet with multiple languages on it on how to diamond paint. Don't need that. Let's see. 
And let's get into the pack here. Crinkle alert. Okay, they give you the standard pen and a colored squishy, a pot of wax, a gray funnel boat, and some baggies. I don't think there are any special drills in this one, but that's okay. And again, Diamond Dots does not have DMC color codes. They have their own color system. So should you want to try to match them up to DMC colors, uh, email me at wandersworkbasket at gmail.com and I will send you a conversion chart. These are the colors. And they are round. Round drills, reds and oranges. And let's go this way. Here we go. Rounds and blacks for the puppy. Oranges and reds for the hammock. Ah, we have a sparkle drill. Okay. I'll show you that last. It's a yellowish white, but here we have a white sparkle drill. And they are 25. Number 25, they are a check mark. Let's see where they go on here. Where's the little check? Oh, in his paw. Oh. In his paw and in his little muzzle. No. My little beagles. I called them velvet heads because their heads were like velvet to pet them. <coughs> <coughs> I had two beagle boys, brothers from the same litter. They lived for about twelve years or so. They used to they used to um climb up on my feet. Like if my feet were down by the couch. They would curl up on one each on each foot, and I called them my beagle slippers. Aren't they cute? Oh, he's so sweet. So sweet. Aww. I miss my beagles. Okay, moving on. Gotta get gotta get uh, to the last one here. I don't want to bore you with petting puppies here. Okay. little velvet heads. Alrighty. Sorry for the crinkles. I'm going to roll in with the on the outside. Back in the plastic. This is the time of day when all the trucks start rolling outside. Okie dokie. And this one, this one I got from Michaels, and this is a pre-lit, a pre-lit one. Stuff falling out of my bags back there. This is not the Eiffel Tower. It was, oof, it was $45 from Michaels, on sale, of course. I bought it on sale, so it wasn't quite, but the full price is $49. And here is the picture. It's supposed to be a Victorian house. It's pre-lit, which means... I'll show you. Okay, the instructions are on the back. It's LED painting. 
And what you do is, it already comes framed because the LEDs are within the frame. Okay, I'm chucking that. All right, it comes with a little hanging kit. Here is the little key, the drill key, and the picture of the, the front of the picture. And light comes through the lights of the windows. There's LEDs behind it. And you put batteries in it and you turn it on, the lights will come out. And um, there are 23 colors in here. It's got the DMC codes, which is good. Now, let's turn it over and look at it. Here we go. This is what it looks like, hopefully without the glare. Come on, glare, go away. That's about the best I can get it without the glare here. It is a Victorian mansion. It is decked out for Christmas. You see some uh, snow-covered trees in the sides. Uh, is that a wreath by the door? There's a little heart here, but the lights will come through each of the windows, so it looks like it's lit up at night. Snow-covered trees at the bottom. What's this on the... What is this? Oh, is that a person at the door? Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a person at the door. Cool. Very pretty. I did one of these before, a couple years ago. It was a church. It's bigger than this. Really beautiful. So, okay, it comes with the hanger pack. It comes with this strange square tray. Uh, one side is good for rounds. One side is good for squares. Because the, the ones for rounds are just a little bit wider, and the squares are just a little bit thinner. And this is really cool. I wish the sides were higher or deeper on both ends. Uh, this is for the wax, you get a cheap tweezers and a typical pen. Not a big deal. The company, the company that made it is, it just says LED diamond painting. DIY, LED DIY diamond painting. It does not give a manufacturer, but I did buy it at Michael's online. Okay, there's some things coming out here. <clears throat> These look like they're individually kitted up, which is great. They're in their plastic baggies already. So I'm not going to take them all out here. Um, but each baggie, let's look at the bag, one of them on the end here. Okay, comes with the number on the kit. So if you want to, you can make a copy of these or blow them up so you can see them. And then cut the strips out. Um, you know, print them on sticker paper and then you can stick them on here. Or just cut the slip and stick it in the bag if you want to. <clears throat> but they're individually bagged and numbered. And let's see. And I'm going to show you the colors like this. If they don't have a white AB in here <clears throat> for the snow, that I will trade. I will do a white sparkly drill for the for the um, the snow. Absolutely. Look how smooth this feels. It is a round drill. Okay. It's a 30 by 40 centimeters. All right. Hi, just a couple goodies I wanted to show you, Divas, in case you're in the market for some new little goodies for yourself. I wanted to show you that I got these off of Diamond Art Supply on Etsy. And let me see, just let me make sure. Comes in a sweet little bag. Again, it's a bag with hearts on it. And these are putties. I keep trying putties out, guys. I hope to find one that I really, really love. Maybe it's the putty themselves, but maybe it's not. I want to try to see if I can... Um, Find one I like. Diamond Art Supply on Etsy. I appreciate your support. I hope you love your new goodies. If you have any issues with your purchase, please feel free to message me directly and resolve the problem. Please consider giving me a review on your order as it helps my business grow.
Okay, here is her, her thank you card. And I definitely will after I try them out for sure. But I wanted to see how they're going to work. One, I got bananas. Let me smell bananas. It looks a little more of like a green putty than a yellow, but oh. Oh, it smells like freshly mashed bananas. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. And this one is supposed to be cherry tree. See the little cherry on the top? Isn't that cute? Let me smell this one. <laughs> little stuck opening. Here we go. Putty, putty. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. You need to have smell a vision. <laughs> you need to have smell a vision. These smell so delightful. I can't wait to try them out, and I will. I'll share that with you when I'm using them. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a peek for that. And another thing I got from Etsy. And this one is from O'Brien Custom Turning on Etsy. And they give you a little pen with their Facebook and Instagram information and their .com on it. Thank you. They give you a sticker that has their Facebook group on it. You can order them from their Facebook group. And this says, oh yes, happy birthday. Um, they give you a discount on your birthday month. And that's how I got this one. I ordered this one on my birthday month. They do, they turn more than diamond painting pens. They have keychains. They have magnifying glasses. They have pens, um, writing pens, and utensils, and all kinds of things. This little card is to say thank you for being a valued customer. We're so grateful and hope we met your expectations. Please let us know if we can do anything else for you. O'Brien Custom a Handmade Diamond Painting Pens and More. That's their group. So thank you. Actually, I'm going to give the box a chuck here. Okay. And let's take a look at this gorgeous pen. And I will bring you in. Bring you in to show you. It's called, um, what is it called, Mystic Bubblegum or something? Exploded Bubblegum, something like that. And I don't know if you can see it real well in the light, the lighting here. I'm trying to... You can see it better against my skin, I think. The greens in with the reds and golds. I don't know about the bubblegum, but boy, this is neat. It's a neat for Christmas pen. It's got like the, um, it's bulbous at one end, like you can grab onto it real well. The other end that you put your moldy placers on is kind of skinny. So it's skinny on the one end and chubbier at the other. It's got a really nice weight to it. It has most of the weight where you'd have it down in, uh, down in your hand rather than um, trying to balance it at the top. Um, you could you could change out as a single placer on either end, but you can change out the ends very easily and put it whichever way you whichever way you desire. Isn't that beautiful? I used the, my birthday discount on this one, so thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you, Divas, for joining me for this little Etsy tour. And I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to stop by on Tuesday nights for Tea and Talk Tuesday, where we join the other uh, rest of the, the Wanda's Work Basket community. Bring your whip along, bring your favorite beverage along, and come along and chat for a couple hours. Thanks. We'll see you soon. Bye, Divas. Thank you.